Say with me, osteoblastic, bone formation, blood flow, cardiac output, cardiac hypertrophy, O for output failure, and last O for osteogenic sarcoma. And the DAD, D for deformities, A for arthritis, A for alkaline phosphorase, and D for deafness mind. Calcium, phosphorus, normal, only alkaline phosphorus raised, and the pages in an X-ray changes. Hello, my dear doctor. A very important topic that we are discussing here. So let me start with a very five star topic, my dear. Just follow me what is written in your notes first, and after that, we'll go on to the board, giving us the boxes, my dear, that's really helpful. So, yes, my dear doctor, let's start with the Paget's disease of the bone, is a five star topic. Paget's disease is a disease of increased, sarcoma increased, but uncontrolled bone turnover. It is thought to be primarily a disorder of osteoclast. So, start with the osteoclast with excessive osteoclastic resorption followed by increased osteoblastic activity. Start with the osteoclastic, start with the osteoblastic. Paget's disease is a common UK prevalence 5 percent, prevalence 5 percent, prevalence 5 percent, start with the prevalence, start with the 5 percent, but symptomatic in only 1 in 20 people or patients, my dear. Start with the symptomatic, start with the 1 in 20. Predisposing factors that include the increasing age, male sex, northern latitude, and family history. Sarcoma age, sarcoma sex, main, sarcoma northern, sarcoma family history. Clinical features: only five percent patients are symptomatic. Bone pain, pelvis, lumbar spine, femur. Classical untreated features like the bowing of the tibia and pausing of the skull. Raised alkaline phosphorus. Calcium and phosphate are typically normal, and the calcium usually normal in this condition, but hypercalcium may occur with the prolonged immobilization. Skull X ray, the thickened vault, and osteoporosis circumscripta. Indications for the treatment, including the bone pain, skull or long bone deformity, and fracture and periodic or pachystitis. And the treatments are the base phosphorus is either. Oral resarjonate or IV zolindronate, sarcoma resarjonate, sarcoma zolindronate. Calcitonin is less commonly used now. So the complications are really important. There are deafness, cranial nerve entrapment, and bone sarcoma. I mean, the osteogenic sarcoma, the one person affected for more than ten years, and fractures and skull thickening and high output cardiac failure. So it is said that the Paget's disease is an old man. And the bone pain, the raised alkaline phosphorase, and the normal calcium and phosphate combined with the raised alkaline phosphate points to a diagnosis of the Paget's disease. So, yes, my dear, the normal calcium, normal phosphate, sarc normal sarc calcium, sarc phosphate, and raised alkaline phosphorus is the diagnosing for the Paget's disease. So, yes, my dear doctor, let's start and giving some of the assets boxes onto the board. That would be really helpful. Just follow me, my dear. Before starting the Paget's disease, my dear, listen very carefully. The Paget's disease. Is a disease of bone turnover, it means excessive bone turnover. What does it mean? In our bone, the dynamism is going on, all this is going on, and this dynamism is consisted of the bone production and the bone destruction. Bone production means the osteogenesis, and bone destruction means the bony resorption, means the bone production and the bone destruction. And with this dynamism, our bones integrity or the strength is maintained, my dear. So, this is an unknown cause actually why this is Paget's disease is occurred, my dear. But this is said that this is a disease of increased bone turnover. What does it mean? P4 Paget's disease, I said that the P4 posteoclast, my dear. So, as I said, my the bone turnover is maintained by the bony production and the bony destruction. The bony production is caused by the osteoblastic activity. In contrast, the bony destruction, the osteoclastic activity. So, osteoblast causes the bony production, bone formation, and osteoclast causes the bony destruction. I hope that you got it. So, once again, osteoblast, bone formation, osteoclast, clash, bone destruction. 
So what happened in the Paget's disease? The Paget's disease having the abnormal, uncontrolled activation of the osteoclastic activity. I mean, osteoclast means the bony destruction. Because of the excessive bony destruction that happened, our body has got the adaptive me mechanism. So in that way, that also stimulates the osteoblastic bony production excessively. And that causes all the features and all the complications of this patient's disease that will land onto the board, my dear. So let's see how the things are going on. We'll look forward, first of all, the patient's disease, the pathophysiology and pathogenesis, what's going on. So let me start by writing down the patient's disease first box here. Patient's disease, my dear. What happened in the Paget's disease? As I say, the Paget's disease, the first of all, P4 Paget's, P4 posteoclast, means the osteoclastic activation, excessive activation, P4 posteoclast. And this posterior class that leads to the, because of the bony destruction, that leads to the pain, my dear, P for pain and P for pathological fractures. So yes, my dear, the P for pain and P for pathological fractures. So once again, the Paget's disease is nothing but the posteoclastic activation that leads to the bony destruction, that leads to the pain and pathology fractures, followed by, because of the adaptive mechanism, we have the osteoblast. So once again, the osteoplastic activity also will be increased. Because the osteoblast leads to the osteoblast leads to the bone formation, bone formation. Yes, my dear. Bone formation. And because of the bony formation, and this area needs the extreme blood supply. So yes, so increase blood flow to the particular areas of the bone where the bony formation is going on. Increase blood flow to that particular areas. And this blood flow to the bone that already happened. And because of the increased blood supply, and that has to be done by the heart. So they are demanding to the heart to give them more and more blood. So heart, what is doing? Heart is giving more and more cardiac output. Because they are demanding more and more blood is really needed. And they want more and more blood. So after optimizing the cardiac output, the heart ultimately going on to the changes, my dear. Means the adaptive changes is nothing but the cardiac hypertrophy. And these areas of bony formation, they want more and more blood. So what else? Next, the heart is unable to provide that blood that leads to the heart failure. So it's because of this high flow that has to be given by the heart, that's why this heart failure, we call it high output heart failure or high output cardiac failure. I mean ultimately leads to the heart failure. So once again, because of the osteoblastic bony 
osteoblastic activity that leads to the bone formation and areas of the bone that the blood needs to be supplied more and more. And the heart needs to give the more cardiac output, more cardiac hypertrophy and high output cardiac failure. Osteoblastic bone formation, blood flow, cardiac output, cardiac hypertrophy, high output cardiac failure. On the other hand, because of the bone formations, this is very much important. Because of the bony formations, the bone formations, the new bones are formation. But these bones are not that much integrated that the bone that we have naturally. And that leads to the varieties of complications, the varieties of complications. And ultimately that leads to the deformities. because these bones are not that in integrated. Soft bone. Because of these deformities, the two categories of deformities that we found, one on the skull, skull and one in the leg. It is said that in the skull that we found the bossing of the skull. and in the leg that the bowing of the legs. So these are the deformities that we are fine. You are getting by there. And because of these deformities, next to the deformities, because of these excessive bony formation in the joints that leads to the arthritis, my dear. And because of within the osteoblast, within the osteoblast, the alkaline phosphatase is there because of the osteoblastic activity is increased. So the alkaline phosphatase will be raised, my dear. Yes. This is very much important, my dear. And because of the excessive bony formation that leads to the cranial foramen are squeezed, narrowed down, that leads to the compressions of the different cranial nerves that leads to the cranial nerve or compressive cranial nerve pathy, especially the eighth cranial nerve is going on that leads to the sensory neural hearing loss. We call it the deafness, my dear. So we can write down the cranial nerve or compressive neuropathy. So the compressive neuropathy, especially the eighth cranial nerve that leads to the deafness. And last, because of the osteoblastic activity is going on, that leads to the, that leads to the osteogenic sarcoma, it means the malignancy, that's the osteogenic sarcoma. And it is said that, right on the 1 by 10, what does it mean? More than 10 years of these phages disease, there is a chance of less than 1 percent, all 1 percent will develop the osteogenic sarcoma. So this is important, my dear. So these are the things, my dear, that will be happened in a patient with osteo, with the Paget's disease, my dear. So starting with the Paget's disease, as I said, that the posteoclast, Paget's disease posteoclastic, that leads to the pain in pathological fractures and osteoblastic activity increase the bone formation that leads to the high output cardiac failure and also here the excessive bony form that leads to the deformities, arthritis, alkaline phosphatase and the deafness and the osteogenic sarcoma. So this is the basically the pathophysiology of the Paget's disease that you must know idea. Knowing the facts of the Paget's disease of this SS of this total Pathophysiology, my dear. You can understand the things very well. Now we need to remember, my dear. Memorizing is important. Let's we'll see how to memorize. As I said, my dear, this is very much important. The very important message box that I'm saying. The Paget's disease is nothing but 
Paradise is nothing but a disease of Papa disease. Papa means father deserves. Elderly peoples, elderly man. What I say it? The elderly man. So I can write down the man, my dear, the elderly man. Means some of the risk factors that you need to learn. The M A N, my dear. You can write down the man. So of course I aim for male gender and A for age, advanced age, and N for northern latitude. Northern latitude. And of course, having the family history. So you can write down along with the family history. So these are the risk factors put the peoples to get the passage to this. And the next important box this is box my dear. I'm writing. These are really tremendous helpful. The Paget's disease, as I say, it is a Papa disease. So these are the complications that happen is nothing but we can write down the O oh, that O. Oh. So see, this is very important. O oh, that O, oh, what does it mean? O, that, O. Don't take it to otherwise, just remember, my dear. O for the, the papa will die from the O. O means the output failure. Output failure means the high output cardiac failure. Write down the way I'm writing. And D for deformities. And A for arthritis. And A for alkaline phosphorus erupt. And D for deafness, my dear. And once again, O for another serious complication, so other than O, is an osteogenic sarcoma. Very interesting. So yes, my dear. So Papa O oh, that O, oh, Papa O oh, that O, oh, yes. We can remember all together. So once again, O oh, for output, high output cardiac failure, and the last two is osteogenic sarcoma. And the dad, yes, my dear, D for deformities, A for arthritis, A for alkaline phosphorus, and D for deafness. Once again, O oh, that O, oh, O oh, for output failure, and last O oh, for osteogenic sarcoma, and the dad. D for deformities, A for arthritis, A for alkaline phosphorus, and D for deafness, my dear. So these are the complications that we need to learn. Yes, my dear. So that we can remember all together and get the right answers. My dear, listen very carefully. I would like to give another box here, SS box. Provided that the Paget's disease, as I said, is a Papa disease, as a dad disease, so that would be helpful. What is Papa? I say this P for the pain, my dear, and P for pathological fractures. Means the papa will come up with the pain in pathological fractures and the P4. If you investigate, we can found alkaline phosphorase and P4 proline. What proline means? Proline means the urinary hydroxy proline is nothing but the product of body destruction that comes down through the urine body. So we'll get the urinary hydroxy proline is a is an evidence. 
the investigations. And the last P4 is a phosphonase. Phosphonase means it's a treatment of choice, my dear, the P4 phosphonase means a bisphosphonase, a double phosphonase is a treatment of choice. So this box is tremendous helpful, my dear, the pain pathological fracture P4 phosphorase, P4 proline and P4 phosphate, phosphonase is a treatment of choice. And another SS box that I'd like to give, my dear. As I say, this Page's disease, it kills you calcium, normal phosphate, normal plus alkaline phosphorase at all. Means, my dear, listen very carefully, this is a very important box that you need to learn, my dear. What I say the patient is a calcium, normal phosphate, normal alkaline phosphate is raised, my dear. Means the only alkaline phosphate is raised is a diagnosis. The patient is a single biochemistry that you will get, my dear. It's very important, my dear. This kind of biochemistry you will not, never get any higher. Calcium normal, we write down the calcium can be increased when the Page's disease peoples are immobilized. Let's write down immobilization. Yes, my dear. As you already learned in the lecture notes that you have seen, then when to treat the Page's disease peoples? The treatment definitely indications are when there is an complications. Means when there is an pain, pathological fractures and other complications altogether, then you should start the treatment. So my dear, listen very carefully, the boxes that we already learned, these are tremendous helpful, my dear to know them, to retain them, and to apply them into the scenarios, into the questions that will get it, my dear, and get the answers correctly with confidence, my dear. Let me start by the first box where the Page's disease is nothing but the osteoposteoplast and osteoblast. And these are the complications. And second box is the Page's disease, the risk, the man, the risk. The man bundled back, the male age, and more than that is just. And third box is the most important box, my the pages is nothing but the O dead O. And fourth important box is the Papa box, the pain pathological fracture, phosphatase and proline, and the phosphonase is the treatment of choice. And the last, but the top of the least box, my dear, that is nothing but the pages is nothing but the calcium normal, like kind of phosphorus, raised in phosphorus normal, and alkaline kind of phosphorus raised in alkaline kind of phosphorus. And knowing these facts, my dear, you'll do the best. So once again, the summarizing the pages is the posteoplast, my dear. Remember, followed by osteoplastic activity. And second box of weeks is the man page, the man M for male age and M for northern latitude and the family history. And pages is the O dead O once again O for output failure and O for osteogenic sarcoma, the dad for the deformities, and A for arthritis, A for alkaline phosphorus, and D for deafness, my dear. One of the important things that I'd like to say, the bossing, bossing of the skull and bowing of the legs. Sometimes I used to say, you know, funny talks, my dear, Papa, our Papa, yes. He feels he's the boss, but he doesn't know he has a bowed leg. Yes, my dear, because he's an old aged person, so that you can remember these deformities of the skull and also the leg. And in the leg, the bowing of the legs is nothing but the bowing of the tibia. And it is said that another name is a tibia sever or sabri, you can write the tibia sever or sabri tibia. And another box that I'd like to add here, if you do x-ray in Page's disease, the findings will be 
yes in that way if the pages disease people come in an early stage so definitely early stage means the osteoclastic activity so the bony destructions will be there so yes my dear doctor in early stage the bony destruction in the form of that will found the osteolytic lesion in the form of in the skull they will get some of the pores we call it the osteoporosis sarcom scripta so yes is a name mind it's just a osteolytic lesions in early stage in a middle stage if the patient comes up in a middle of the disease definitely will get the mixed variety of osteolytic and once again the bony formation means the osteosclerotic lesion and third means the late stage definitely will get the only osteosclerotic lesions because of the bony formation because of the bony formations the osteogenesis because of the skull has got the bossing sometimes the elderly people they say the changes of the hat sometime changing hat size sometimes is a complaints my dear yes so yes the x-ray changes the number six box my dear is really important the osteolytic lesion in the form of osteoporosis circumscripta in the middle stage then the osteolytic mixed and osteosclerotic in the late stage definitely the osteosclerotic lesions that you're expecting so yes my dear doctors so starting with the first box pages is nothing but a osteoclast yes a osteoclast and second box pages the bricks is a man and third is a complication oh dead oh in the treatment indication the page is a papa disease and fourth box in the feed box the page is a calcium phosphorus normal only alkaline phosphorus is raised and the pages in an x-ray changes is a early osteolytic mixed variety and the osteosclerotic lesions all together I hope that my dear you enjoy all together. Thank you. Thank you very much.